Warning, high voltage is deadly, and radiation can be too. So nuclear fusion is pretty sweet. The sun does it with some ridiculous amounts of gravity. Sustainable fusion still isn't around or even close because we only use speed. Labs and universities do have some awesome ones of many types though. Farnsworth fusers are pretty much the simplest and are extremely inefficient. They are a fairly common project for high schoolish kids and are pretty much just art projects. I've been postponing building one for a while, but I finally just had to do it. A charged grid ionizes the gas, stripping electrons and accelerating the positive nuclei towards the center. Some of them fuse together to form an unstable helium-4, which can eject a neutron, gamma ray, or photon. So let's build one. I started by getting a bunch of used high vacuum parts. Getting it new would cost a fortune. Some 6 inch stainless hemispheres and 8 inch CF flange ends will make the main chamber, as well as a bunch of flange nipples, end caps, and a window. I also got a 30 kV electrical feed through. For the pumping I will use an oil diffusion pump and a small mechanical pump. I also got a throttling valve and a regulator for deuterium. I drilled 5 1.5 inch holes for the CF flange dubs, and 2 1 inch holes for the KF25s. After cutting up the CF bits, I broke out the TIG welder. Only weld the inside to prevent virtual leaks. After an hour of welding and another of grinding, that's the main chamber done. Now we need a high voltage supply. I ended up just buying a Cockroft Walton multiplier off eBay and hacking a neon sign transformer. There are a lot of ways to get 30 or 40,000 volts at like 10 milliamps. Now deuterium can be hard to get, as an isotope of hydrogen that is pretty rare and possibly dangerous in the wrong hands. I just bought mine after some approval and some signatures. If you can get heavy water, just electrolyzing it will make deuterium. I also made a neutron detector out of a Russian SI-19N tube and a counter circuit that I threw together. I put the window, feed through, and stuff on the chamber halves. I built an accelerator grid out of nichrome because I didn't have the right size tungsten. It looked awful. I cleaned all the surfaces to be exposed to vacuum with acetone and other solvents. Oil specks or anything outgassy will spoil your vacuum. After putting the two halves together, it finally looks like a reactor. I did a rough pump down and helium leak test. There were none. I got down to 59 millitor with just a mechanical pump. At around 100 millitor, I put 1000 volts on the grid and saw some low energy plasma. So I cleaned up my diffusion pump, then hooked it up to the valve. Now because it doesn't have a baffle, I used a T and a blower to try and keep most of the vapors out of the reactor. I built a cart thing out of oak to hold it, then started putting all the stuff in. The chamber sits on these blocks, and the pump just hangs. I just hooked up a thermocouple gauge and end cap. I didn't bother to use a better gauge. Then added the deuterium tank and regulator with some zip ties. Then put in the high voltage system and made sure I had a really good ground. It could easily be lethal if you do it wrong. Lead shielding is really important as this thing will pour out x-rays, but neutrons are only slowed by hydrocarbons. I think this thing's ready to fire up. I roughed the chamber down, then fired up the diffusion pump. It didn't take long for the thermocouple gauge to bottom out. After about 40 minutes to clean the chamber, I turned the power supply to 30 kV and started adding deuterium. It took some time to tune the vacuum pump and needle valve, but after some fiddling, I got a nice looking plasma, plus a ton of x-rays and neutron counts. Yeah, that's really a lot. To make sure it was really neutron emissions, I put pure silver in front of the window, and when I took it off, it was emitting radiation as some of the freshly generated radioactive silver isotopes decay into cadmium. That pretty much means the reactor works, and really does do fusion. Art project, like I said. But it is a fairly high energy neutron source, so I doubt it'll be very long before an actual use comes along. It's a good project to get used to high vacuum tech or high voltage stuff, as it doesn't require much precision, and they're pretty simplish to build. Thanks for watching, subscribe if you want.